Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris with RampantDesignTools.com. Uh, I wanted to do a really quick tutorial here, and basically I searched on YouTube 3D extruded text in After Effects, and I found a bunch of examples of it, but not necessarily a really basic tutorial, so that's what this is. So I'm just going to show you really quick how to extrude some text in After Effects CS6, because that's one of its best features. Very impressive. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is make a new comp and 1920 by 1080 looks good. And I'm going to make a new text layer. Uh, you can also do this with shape layers and you can also import illustrator files and then convert them to shape layers. But right now I'm just going to do a text layer and I'm going to call this extrusion. Okay. And I'm just going to scale it up a little bit and I'm going to give it Maybe a little better font. I don't know what though. I'll just do a classic Arial Black. And I'm going to make this just a gray because it's a little bit easier to see the lighting on a gray rather than a white or a black. First thing I'm going to do is make this a 3D layer just by clicking the 3D layer box. And when I click this box, there's a little button that comes up here and it says Renderer. And you can click Classic 3D and your composition settings come up. And here you can change a bunch of stuff, but you can also change the renderer. And so I'm gonna click this to ray trace 3D. That's basically the key in making the extruded text is this new ray trace 3D renderer. And so I'm gonna hit okay. And then it's gonna tell me, hey, the ray trace 3D renderer doesn't do a bunch of stuff. And then you say, shut up. Here's my 3D text. I'm gonna twirl down the options here. And under my text layer, I have geometry options. So I'm gonna twirl that down. And here we have bevel style, bevel depth, whole bevel depth, and extrusion depth. So the main one you're going to want to look at is extrusion depth. And you can just pull that out, and your text changes a little bit. So now, if I hit W for rotate, I'm going to rotate this text, and you can see text actually has depth. But for right now, it kind of looks like a block. And the reason why is because we don't have any lights. And so it kind of looks weird unless you have some 3D lights. So I'm going to right click in my comp window and I'm going to go down to new light. And I'm just going to make it a point light. And I'm going to make it a color. And I might change this back to white later, but I'm going to make it a color so I can see really easily where this light is lighting on my text. So that looks good. I'm just going to hit OK. So now we instantly have a cooler looking thing. And now I can move this light around and I'm going to bring the resolution down just so I can work a little bit easier. And now I can move that light around and it will light my text. And so I can go into the light options and change different things, uh, the brightness, the color, everything like that. And so I'm going to hit intensity and bring it up a little bit just so we can see this. I'm going to make a new camera also. You don't have to make a 3D camera for this extrusion to work, but it helps to kind of pivot around the scene and let you explore. So there's my extruded layer and I can rotate it and we can see that extrusion. So that's basically it. You can also bevel this text, which is pretty cool. And just under this bevel style, there's a few different options. I usually hit angular. So here's the difference. No bevel just has the face and then really sharp corners on this extrusion. And then I can hit angular bevel and then it kind of adds little corners to everything. And so, and then you can change how wide the bevel is. And you can also change how the insides are beveled because sometimes if you have a hole you don't want it beveled as much because it's just not going to look like a hole. You see how this O is filled in right here? Maybe I don't want that so I'm going to bring that down to maybe 30 and there I have that hole in my O again. That's basically it. If you have any questions comment on this video or on the blog at blog.rampantdesigntools.com. Once again I'm Casey Ferris. Thanks for watching.